In this video, we'll look at using sampling distributions to solve problems using the TI-84 graphing calculator. Consider this problem from 7 and 1 in your textbook. An unknown distribution has a mean of 45 and a standard deviation of 8. Samples of size n equals 30 are drawn randomly from the population. Find the probability that the sample mean is between 42 and 50. While the mean for the population is 45 and the standard deviation of the population is 8, the standard deviation will change for the sampling distribution, so we need to adjust that. Since the sample size is larger than 30, we can assume that the sampling distribution will be normal. So in order to find probabilities, we need the mean and standard deviation. The mean will be the same, it will still be 45 but the standard deviation will not be 8. We want to avoid rounding, so we'll put the new standard deviation directly in. Hit second vars to go to the distribution menu. Then we'll calculate a normal probability, like in the previous chapter. We want to know that it's between 42 and 50, using the same mean of 45, but we will not use 8 here. We will do 8 divided by the square root of the sample size. So take the standard deviations and divide by the square root of the sample size to adjust. I recommend putting that directly in here, as it will avoid rounding errors. Again, if you have the older version of the calculator, left, comma, right, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation. And that will be our probability there. So in general, if our sample size is 30 or bigger, then we know that no matter what the original distribution is, the sampling distribution is approximately normal sampling distribution for the mean, and the mean of the sampling distribution is the same as the mean of the population, so we still use 45, but the standard deviation has adjusted by dividing by square root of the sample size. Alright, and that should tell you everything.